because this topic ain't going to get any, any easier to talk about. Because I thought a lot about this, about married couples working together. So I'm going to share what I, what I, my thoughts on this topic. And Derek and Tom, you can, you can pontificate all you want. But my wife and I have been going through marriage counseling, and it is really a good thing. We get to talk openly about all kinds of stuff, and we have a referee in the room, which is really good. And she'll throw flags, man. If one of us goes off like it on a tangent, she backs it down, and we talk about the issues. And it's funny. She talked about in a relationship. Now, this is a relationship with you, your spouse, your employees, your friends, your anything. This is, a, this is not a marital thing only, but since you brought it up, I think it's really pertinent in this whole thing. And they talk about the difference between walls and boundaries. And I'm like, what the hell kind of talk is that? He goes, here's a deal. A wall for anybody in any relationship, whether it's between Derek, you and myself, or you and your wife, or me and my wife, a wall is something that you do not penetrate. It's a showstopper. It's like, you know what? We don't go there. This is, some, this is a behavior I'm not willing to accept. You cannot treat me like this. Disrespect is one of them, okay? You can yell at me, and you can say anything you want to me, Derek, but if it's coming from a disrespectful place and I don't think your heart's in the right place, that's a wall, and I will shut you down. But everything else is a barrier. It's just it's like a little, the Jersey wall. I can see over it. I see you're there. You're telling me, but I'm okay with it because I know it's coming. It's okay. Do you understand the difference? I want to know that, especially you, anybody married in the group, okay, or if you got a girlfriend or boyfriend in the group, tell me if this makes sense to you, that there's certain activities, certain things, certain treatments, certain ways you're treating people in certain ways you're being treated that are not acceptable and you have to shut that down. And they got to know the wall. You can't just go, mm, 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 and, and, you know, and give them the silent treatment. You got to tell them, I'm going to tell you once, this is a wall to me. When you came home to me, when you treated me like this, that is a wall. You can tell me the bad news, but don't tell it to me in that way. Because... I'll say it like that. I got my son. Is Logan on here? Good. Logan's on here. But let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you the difference between someone you love and someone you don't love. Many years ago, Logan, Lord, he Logan's 28 right now. Maybe he was 14. And he was helping me build a pond. In fact, we were redoing my waterfall out here at my house. And it's the last time anybody dropped the rock on my finger. Now you know the instant madness that you feel when someone drops a rock on your finger. It's just like a hammer hit your finger. You want to go, my you every word you know comes out instantly, right? <laughs> well, Logan dropped this rock. He wasn't paying attention. It slipped out of his hand. It's whatever it did. And the guys were working around, and me and Logan, you know, father in some moment, he dropped that rock, and I went off. Like, in a totally unacceptable way why didn't you watch it you blah 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 and it hurt like a son of a, a half hour later i felt so bad i went back to him and i apologized I said logan I'll tell you why i feel bad anybody else on this planet could have dropped that same rock and i wouldn't have reacted like that i only reacted like that I think because I felt like I could get away with it because you're my son. And it's like we tend to we love the most. We will we will be nicer to a total stranger than we will our own spouse, our own girlfriend. I mean, we'll do other people. We had this kind of conversation on this on our page about we're embarrassed when we hear the Shinfu and talk to customers in front of our family because our family's going, who the hell is that guy? He's a totally different. Why isn't he so nice to us like that? Why isn't he doing that to us? He's a total to us. 
Is any of this resonating with anybody out there? Uh, I'd be shocked if it doesn't resonate with 100%. It has to. But the interesting part is you're sharing that, though. There's no school that you go to that says the people that are closest to you, it's okay to just like treat them like there's somehow there's this this innate ability or innate feeling that they'll never leave you. Yet some will. And they won't want to hang out with you, but it's 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 so consistent. And that's the hard stuff right there. I mean, that's the you want to talk about hard stuff. We could bring that into everything. Everything that you're saying right now is it's it's very easy to treat the people that we don't know with with the utmost respect, but the people that we do know somehow we should. and it's just you have to retrain yourself. It's a it's a difference between reacting and responding, and that's that's something that I'm like with these walls and boundaries. It's funny I thought you were going to go with the walls like with with Aaron. It's it's it, when we first got in a relationship together, there was not a wall at all, and then somewhere in there, Derek said something. There was a brick. Derek did something else, there's another brick. Before you know it, it looks like this picture on here. The wall is like, it's above my head and I can't even see over the thing. And then that's when that that weird silence, that passive aggressive, aggressiveness happens in our families where we're not really talking. We're just kind of like walking around with this attitude and not saying anything. And then somewhere I do something right. And then like a brick comes down, another brick comes down. And all of a sudden I can see, I can see across the wall that another one comes down. Then it gets somewhere around chest level and then Derek screws up again and then there that wall goes up again and then Derek planes and it's it steps back into the family and that wall comes down right now um yeah I'm, you might as well just call me a master mason um but right now the wall is probably somewhere around the knees the ankles everything's pretty good but I know with Aaron and how long we've been together and just how I've transitioned and what I'm learning of course it's messy in the beginning when you start transitioning and stuff and understanding how to do it and it's I'm I'm monitoring the wall, but I know Aaron's over there kind of going, hmm, I know you're, you're mixing some cement in that wheelbarrow somewhere. I know it's around here at any minute. It's gonna, but that's the hard stuff. I have to, I have to support Aaron. I have to support my team. She has been crazy stressed, crazy stressed. I could go down the list of the things that are going on. And that's something I'm starting to notice, the the, the pain indicator that we like to talk about. I'm starting to realize because of my awareness now, when Aaron's stressed and what happens when Aaron is stressed and how I can step in there. And I'm still screwing up, but I do the same things. She monitors me and if I get stressed, it's just different stuff and she's having to like, you know, do I stay away from him? Is he gonna freak out? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna be nice? Is he gonna be short? So there's this constant thing, but it's that, it's that taking your phone when your spouse comes in the room and you put it down and you look at them and you go, hey, babe, what you need? So hard to do. But the awareness of the footsteps coming down the hall, well, maybe I should put the phone down for a minute and just see what's going on. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe she's just going to, to take care of something. But it's that the difference between reacting and responding. And for me, this whole Shin Fu process has evolved that. And, and there's so many things, but I still suck at it. Trust me. I'm going to piss Aaron off. It's, it, it's soon. I know I will because it's just something I've constantly got to work on. And it's so, yeah, a wall or boundary. How does it tie into boundaries? I know what the boundaries are. I mean, my wife, all of you guys know Aaron, and what you see is what you get. There's, she really doesn't hold back much. So there's not a, uh, there's no mystery there. So I know the boundaries. She's very clearly stated, don't you cross this don't you or i should say the wall maybe that's the wall reference here don't you cross this wall because you know it's not good now I have boundaries over here we can talk about it but that's where the marcus sheridan came in i vanguard damn near everything okay i got one and i'll shut up i have an old pickup truck that literally i sold my fancy pickup truck years ago it was back in 2000 i sold the truck that i could not afford because i didn't understand overhead to only buy the 1700 dollar truck and that truck now still sits at my garden center and that truck sold me the biggest landscape job i ever did to, to afford me the asset purchase of the garden center for me to meet aaron to meet my wife to have baby hayes to get me to meet you guys so there's so much in this that i now have a little bit of money put back and as crazy as it is i put so much money in that truck you can't even imagine i'm going to put more money in it but this time i'm going to do it right i'm putting a brand new motor i'm going through the whole thing and it's so stupid the 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 
the return, the ROI on this is zero financially. And I know how Aaron feels and Ronald Walk. I've been wanting to talk to her about this for several days. And it's just like it needed to come out. It's like, I'm going to tell her that I'm going to spend money on this truck. And then I went, I'm not going to tell her. That's stupid. Why don't you ask her how she feels about it? So what's that going to look like? I need to vanguard this. So I let her talk. And I said, baby, I need to talk about something. Okay. Well, it has to do with putting more money in that old pickup truck. And I know that's been a sore spot for us. But I would like to share with you, if it's okay, give me three minutes to kind of run on what I'm, what I, how I feel about this. And then you tell me where you're at and then we'll come to an agreement on this. What makes sense? So I went 15 because I knew she would pull me back and she was very quiet and she went, you know, I don't agree with it, but I understand why you want to do it. Could you do 10 grand? Kind of really, she's not on here so I can say this. <laughs> I really wanted to be at 10 grand. So it's not a bunch, but I know how my wife works. And so she's okay with it. But if I would have went at it like I normally would, like, look, I'm making all kinds of money and I really, this is just what I'm going to do. And I wouldn't say it in that many words, that, that verbatim, but I would say it like, hey, I'm going to drop some money in this old truck because it's important to me. That's probably where I would have went. I wouldn't be, I wasn't showing her any respect whatsoever. I wasn't, I wasn't being a dick. But now I understand I have to include her because she does have an opinion because that money is hers too. And she's cool with it because she understands why that's important to me. So I'm, I'm getting very good at vanguarding. I shouldn't say very good because I'm not really good at it. I'm just realizing the importance of going, Hey, what I'm about to talk about is going to be something like this. So at the end of this conversation, I'm hoping this is the direction we're going to go, but I have to realize that you have say in this too. So here I go. So that's kind of how it's working in our house. And she does it too. She does it differently though. She kind of tells me what I'm going to do. Tom, do you have anything you want to uh, talk about working couples? Because I know you work with a bunch of them. 